it all started. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? I'll play that again. Hi, Matthew, it's you from Telestop Tutors. Can you give me a call back when you can? We're writing an international placement job. Thanks. I never pick up a phone if it's a number I don't know. My room is so messy. I've been throwing everything around to find my documents because I'm going to Kula, Kula Lumpa. I know, I'm surprised. Where's Malaysia? There. Just north you find Thailand. I heard it, it's like a bit of a gateway to all mm. of Asia. So it's a bit of a melting pot. I've done tutoring and a lot of teaching before, but I never got a break to do international tutoring where you basically travel and tutor at the same time. <laughs> Let me just call back first. Hello, I just got a voicemail regarding... Long story short, the client's paying for my flight out there and back. My return flight is going to be in half a year from Bangkok. I'm going to earn a good wage doing something I love and that is teaching because I just love talking and sharing. And I in fact got some good grades in science and maths at A levels. I got an A star in maths and further and two A's in chemistry and physics. And I'm going to make sure that this tutee gets that too. And from what I've heard, it's going to be three hours a day tutoring for two weeks. Then I remain after for party. I love how things just come out of the blue. Sometimes you need a bit of good luck and this could be it, but you need to give me a little bit of time to pack. I'm booking flight tickets with my money. Hopefully I'm gonna get reimbursed. It's all happening. I'm leaving tonight. Gonna to get there Monday morning. This has just come out of the blue. I don't know what to say. It's like, do you wanna personalize and improve your experience? I'd rather pay less. But it's booked. Yes, yes. Wait, so when are you coming back? I may never come back. To be fair, I never really wanted to stay in the UK during winter. So this is ideal. Flying back in April to miss the cold gray winter in UK and live it up Asia. So I have exactly six hours before I need to vamoose. Need to get all my books, need to train, need to eat. Wish me luck. Hi. Bag. Yes, please. Okay, it's 5p. 5p, okay. Now I'm gonna go put some cash in my current account so I don't starve when I'm abroad. Saying that, hopefully no one's gonna like take me at gunpoint. Free money exchange. No one's got Malaysian ringgits. I'll try Mark and Spencer, but that's about it. You have to pre order the ringgits everywhere. My flight is leaving at quarter past 10 and it's 5 to 8 now. Throwing everything in the car. I'm a bit nervous to tell the truth. I'm getting good at this checking in, like just killing time walking around some shops. You will not believe it. I've not been allowed to go on the flight to Turkey and then to Malaysia because the picture on my passport has slightly faded. I'm gonna have to go and get my bag from baggage reclaim. This really sucks. The last thing I'd need is to lose my bag. Okay, cheers, nice one mate. They didn't even care to check if that was me taking my own bag. Taking more pictures for the passport. Ready? I want to get the passport application form, but as usual, it's a Sunday and the post office isn't open. Fingers crossed, I get the passport today. I made every arrangement to be flying out today at 6. I booked the flight. I was meant to get a four hour turnaround, new passport, a renewal. 
but officially they're saying it's damaged. I can't make, <laughs> I, fought, I fought my case so damn hard. Basically, I've rebooked my appointment to get a new passport and I'm gonna try to get through to Kuala Lumpur. Just fluke it. <laughs> get in between the rush when they get onto the plane and keep my fingers crossed because I ain't got the new passport that I came and that I should have got. <sighs> hey, check that sculpture, it's actually pretty beautiful. This is a stunt plane's flight path. But honestly, today, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And I've just not been allowed to go through. My passport was meant to be done in four hours. It's gonna take a week. And I tried to go on my old passport again. The guys were just like, why are you here? As in, they thought I fixed it, but I had to just, it's money I can't afford to lose, which has made me come here and like bluff my way on the plane, but it's not happened. And everyone's getting a bit heated, especially me. Today is the second day I've come to renew my passport, which really just shows me how important your passport is. Just a bit of paper to represent you as a person of the world. The world is really small and to be stuck here forever would be a real shame. It's gonna take a week as opposed to one day. I wanted to do an express service, but it doesn't apply for damaged passports because damaged or stolen require extra checks to be made, etc. Just in case you're like a dodgy guy. Renewing the passport is a bit of an expensive uh, mistake. It costs £128 express service, about £100 just to renew it if you're gonna not rush it. But just had my little appointment, everything's going to plan. This letter is from the Home Office and I have a funny feeling that this is my old one. Look, this is what they do to an old passport, they just snip it. I got my old visa, this one was to India and this one was to China. To be honest, I'm probably more pissed off that I lost these visas in my passport because they won't be in my next passport, will they? And for this, I'm gonna use a pair of scissors because this is a big moment. Oh man, I'm so happy. It could have gone wrong and I could have had more delays and more setbacks. Look at that mint condition. And it's got that new book smell too. Does that picture look faded? No. Your new passport, important information. I will read that actually because I'm tired of problems. Hey, this passport is really beautiful. Oh my God, that is a really good design. I'll show you. Look at that one, the London Tube Network. Battersea Power Station, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. That looks like a Bollywood dancer. Here is a Scottish bagpipe, because we're British, right? Shakespeare's Globe, the Angel of the North, of course. That's worth almost half a K, because the passport, Renewing it cost me 128 pounds and missing the flight was another 500 quid easy, so. So out of a sign of respect, because I want to keep this new forever. You get the idea. I ain't ever going to let a passport get wet again. And you don't let that happen either, because it's a shock to the system. I'm trying to get reimbursed by Tavistock tutors, but it looks like they're not interested. As a plan B, I did get travel insurance. And now I can claim the money for the flight I never went on. I'm messaging Vitali. I've cycled as fast as I could to Vitali so that we finally book the tickets to the Philippines. We've been waiting for this for over a week now, waiting for this passport to arrive. Mine's been sitting in a drawer, waiting to be used. So I'm gonna book the flights today, head out, see my team, and uh, live the digital nomad lifestyle. And for me, look after my health and let's show you which way the ship is going to be heading. It is like blue outside. Check out the left bit. Full of London, you can see it. Canary Wharf, everything. Okay, so I live, I live there in West Ealing, which is due west, but we're setting sail exactly not east, but southeast. I can't wait.